What's up, guys? Today we are looking at Nightwish from their new album, the song Procession. And without further ado, I'm not wasting any time on this. Let's just jump into it.
Wow. Okay. That was super deep and super interesting. Okay, so it kind of goes from the beginning to the end and end to the beginning. Um, there's a lot to dissect here, honestly. Um, so I think it's interesting that it starts with the sediment said it. sedimentary rock formations right where many 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 fossils are found right and so obviously it starts before um it starts before humanity but a long way before humanity and it starts with the first a acorn falling I believe that's what they said. We Re remember, yeah. So the acorn was the first thing, and that's how. And the idea, I guess, there's probably some reason they chose acorn specifically, but to me, where I'm sitting, it's like okay, a seed was planted, and that's the first sign of life is trees, grass, and plants. And so, let's continue. An empty zoo, because no animals have surfaced yet. And here the animals begin to show up as the heartbeat shows up. Another birth, another monster. That's going on the assumption that there's already sin or evil in the world. Um, this this definitely points towards evolution. Um, endless force turns towards the stronger. The whole law of um, the strongest evolution will prevail, and or the strongest mutation within evolution will prevail menagerie of a new world order menagerie is usually con a word that is used in ref reference to animals um, or birds specifically um, this is interesting we held our breath as along came suffering so this also gives the idea that this is where death began but if they already said evil entered the world earlier then death should have started there anyway I do really I actually really do appreciate this part because they don't do it in a way that's intrusive or up your ass in your face it really complements the message of this song to say be aware of those that came before and those we are destroying so i do greatly appreciate this um we remember father pikaya um that's a reference i don't get but i'm sure someone from finland will get um, so just let me know exactly what the role Pakaya played. I assume that he's the giver of human life. Um, I f again, this is another point towards um, evolution here. Um, gave the way as, as along came Sapien. Um, well, actually, it's not because sapien is the final word, so that's the final form of it. Because homo is the... What? Family? Um, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family. Yeah, so it's the order, I guess. Um, yeah, it would be the order. Homo, sapien would homo would be the or order no sapien would be the order homo would be the class because before sapien you have homo africanus homo bloody bloody there's like eight or nine of them that hail from around the world um anyway the idea of the earth welcoming humanity to its surface is a very touching and also guilt-ridden um concept because of how much we've destroyed the earth. Um, I like that they bring back um, the idea of from the first acorn. Like they reference that eon since the ver that very first acorn. Together now in this timeless parade. Um, we remember as long as we came. I recognize this book title but like I want to say it's Darwin's um, 
Origins of the Species, I think that's what it's called. But I don't, obviously I can't read whatever language that is in. And then also it's not his name, so screw that, I don't know what book this is. <laughs> anyway, this next is a cathedral. Um, I don't remember if it's Notre Dame, I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. Um, I think this is very interesting. After all, we shouldn't have, we should have never appeared. So I don't like this because I don't believe it's personally true, but I'm not going to say I don't understand where it's coming from because I do. The idea that we were all accidents, that the world was just blooping around and just happened to create life, um, I personally find absurd because of the intricacies of things and also the holes in the theory of evolution um and let me let me clarify this one of the reasons i say that is because evolution to this day is not a scientific law it is a scientific theory just like the theory of creation um both of them are theories because science is based off of the scientific method where you observe something you make a hypothesis you test it and you observe it no one can observe creation because none of us were there so whatever you hypothesize about that time cannot be proven by observable research okay so before y'all get super mad at me because i said that evolution is not a law just keep your mind open to the fact that creation isn't a law and evolution is not a law. They're both theories of science. Um, but this is obviously taking a more evolutionary turn, saying we should have never appeared because everything happened by accident. I didn't mean to unpause it because that scared me. Um, obviously, this is a blue whale hanging up in the middle of a museum. I it looks like the New York Museum of H of New York Museum of Natural History because I've been there and it looks familiar. It might not be, it might be the British Museum, it might be a different museum, but that's what it reminds me of. Anyway, here we are again with our um chambered nautilus. Those things actually were really big. <laughs> but anyway, at the end of Pi, as along came harvest, I think that's really cool because as far as we know, Pi Pi doesn't have an end, but we've traced it back to at least a thousand places, if not further. I think it's r interesting that we will, it says we will remember all the suffering because we're already, obviously that's not true because we're already forgetting it. People are saying the Holocaust never happened. I would call that suffering. Um, I would say the Crusades were suffering for the people that were killed pointlessly because that was bullshit um I, suffering goes back as far as humanity has existed so we can't possibly remember all of it but yes we can do better than we are currently doing where's the line we were there and we'll remember mankind Where was this? Where was this line? There was a specific line that I was looking for. That obviously, I'm not going to find. But anyway, it then reverses. And okay, so this is an interesting, very interesting picture. And this is this kind of gets me excited because so see how you have snapshots right in this green place. Um, it reminds me of C.S. Lewis because in his book, The Magician's Nephew, he gives this idea of a place between worlds that has little ponds that you can jump into, but you don't get wet. And the reason is because each pond leads to a different world. So this could represent like the field of the gods or the field of the ethereal and each window is a different world that or a different mul this could be the floor of the multiverse basically where you could enter different multiverses or 
if you believe in God, this could be the God's way of looking at time because the idea of a God is that he's outside of time and was and will be because he holds time. And so he's looking at like he's looking at the book of time. He's read it from front to back and he's just looking at it and flipping through it. That's the idea. That's how he knows what's going to happen in the end, but is on this page right now. You know, anyway, that's a really cool snapshot. I really like that. But it also is reminiscent of noise where the location is because these are the trees. And who knows if this is the clearing that the table was set up with the guy with the mask on. Um, because if you remember that, the table set up and then as you push through the trees then you see the sunset over that green valley so that's a ver it's all very interesting anyway again rant continuing <laughs> thank you guys so much for sticking with me um i will see you guys in the next video and as always let me know what you think in the comments and yeah anyway i really am enjoying this new album a whole lot <laughs> And I think it's a really, like, it's super exciting to process this stuff for me. And it's really cool to think about, too. So, at any rate, thank you guys for watching. As always, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay kind. And always strive to do better, because we always can. Anyway, until next time, I will see you in the next video. Peace.